Um, hello ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Today I will be talking about how society views young people. And I've got sort of two things to talk about. I'm, so, I'm talking about how young people are the punch bag of society. And also how there's not enough opportunities for young people and we don't feel motivated to um, do what's right. So I'm going to start by saying, asking, what do people think of when they think of young people? And I think generally, the older generation, when they think of young people, they think of criminals, muggers, thieves, etc. And generally antisocial. And I think this attitude needs to change because, well, let me start by saying that I'm not exactly, you know, I'm not exactly proud of my, a lot of the people in my current generation. And, you know, I'm being honest here. And a lot of the people disrupt less, um, you know, act bad for the sake of acting bad. And I don't think this is right. But I think it's also wrong that the government and adults are just blaming us, ourselves, for all of this and just blaming us for being for being bad when, you know, most of us aren't and even the ones that are. So I don't think it's our fault because it's not our job to form ourselves as persons. It's the job of adults, it's the job of the, gov it's the, job of the government, society in general to form us as young people into well-rounded individuals because no one is born to be a murderer, a mugger, even any kind of criminal. So I don't think it can... I don't think you can call it our problem when we turn into these. I think there's there's something inherently wrong with the way we're being treated as young people that makes us turn into these. And now I think w what happens is criminals are created when society fails to offer what the young people or the people need. Because it's it's when the way they're brought up, it's when it changes them. It's when it's when the way the way they're brought up isn't correct. But this makes it sound like it's parents. It's not just parents, um, because it's just it's the government and it's the, and it's society in general that can change a good kid into one that's antisocial. Because a lot of young people, almost all young people these days, feel anger towards the government, the police, etc., and they feel they feel disenchanted because they feel that the government is out of touch with the normal people, and they feel angry towards the police. They think the police is instituting racist institutionally racist. We've seen examples of this such as, you know, the stop and searching um, controversy, the, the Mark, Mark Duggan controversy. So really there's a lot of tension between society, between the younger and the older generation. And this is why it's creating um, young offenders. And but I, so that's why I don't see why all older, all older people feel the need to play the blame game towards the younger generation. Because there's not just young offenders, there's, for every young offender, there's got to be many more good young people who want to make a positive change in the world. But, the thing is, and they should be applauded, but there are still um, offenders, there are still criminals, and something needs to, done, needs to be done about the, that. And a riot, a riot, the riots, the London riots, two years ago, was a very good example of this, because, I mean, I'm not supporting the rioters here, I think what they were doing was wrong, it was opportunistic, and it was inherently wrong. But again, I think it. I think, as usual, the government just blamed them, blamed them, blamed them, blame us young people for the riots. When I think what they need to do is take a long, hard look at themselves and see why the young people f felt the need to, make the, to commit the crime. And they need to start making a serious change. Because, for one reason, young people are the most important thing in the world. Not oil, not money, nothing. Young people, they're what's important. Because they're the people that will be the Prime Minister's the world leaders, the scientists, everything of tomorrow, of the next generation. So the older generation owes it to us to create a generation that can lead society forward and prevent society from turning into a, a barren wasteland and being, you know, preventing everyone turning into, uh, turning into unqualified, uneducated offenders. Because that's when society will really go down, down, go downhill and be a place you don't want to be in. Because if that's happened, society, current society has done us a disservice. And because they're just blaming us when, I don't, when we're not completely to blame. Of course, we do need to have some self-restraint. We can't just, we can't just, again, us as young people can't just blame everyone else for what we do. But, and I'm not calling, I'm not exactly calling for all prisoners to be let free. I think it might be, it might be too late. But what I want is for serious change at the top. So, and the, I mean the government to start listening to young people and start changing so that young people become more integrated into society and feel, and so there's less um, tension and divisions between the different generations in society. And I've, I've identified one major problem is that 
there are more adults, more elderly people around in Britain, first of all. And secondly, there, there are more of them voting. Young people are voting less, even, and, and there's less of them. So the government's not going to pay attention to us because they, that's what they do. They, they pay attention to the people who are going to vote because all they want, all they want is votes. All they want is to stay in power. And this was not helped at all by the, the Russell Brand incident where he called for primarily young people not to vote, which just means that the government has that opportunity, has, has the chance to just, you know, even more neglect young people's opinions. So I think this is really bad. And we need to, young people, you need to start voting and start talking to your council, talking to people, getting young people's issues heard, because that's what's really most important, okay? So people watching this, I think you need to start, we need to start pushing for change. Um, and also, I was talking about governments earlier, but it's not just governments. Many, it starts very early from, from the school days, because education, in the current way, it's a very, it's a very passive experience. We're not active in our own learning because what happens is you're told what to do. It's the, it's the stick. It, it's not the carrot and the stick. Um, it's just the stick, essentially. There's so much more um, focus on the negative um, side rather than the positive. So what happens is you're just shouted at day in, day out. And why do they? And that, that just keeps happening. So that I don't know why they think that's going to help, but it just keeps happening. You're just shouted at and shouted at. And that means that, that we have no reason not to, people have no reason not to um, misbehave, because if they do, if you, mis if you behave well, you're going to get shouted at, if you behave badly, you're going to get shouted at, that's all that happens, and because we're just getting told what to do, shouted at every day, and we don't get to have any control over our own learning, that's why there are these tensions between, there's divisions, and there's disenchantment, there's anger towards, towards the schools, towards teachers, etc., which is why there's lower grades, and why there's, I think that's why there's young offenders, and that's why the, um, our young people today aren't, aren't as they should be. And furthermore, on a slightly separate note, I don't think there's enough opportunities for young people to get out of there and make a change in the world, because there are people who want to do that. But, I mean, as a young person, I feel like I can't go out into the world and I can't do anything because I'm young. I feel like because of this blame game, people are going to judge me, people are, people are you know, people don't want to listen to me. Um, and I think that's very wrong, because I think young people from the ages of as early as 11, some people, some, a lot of young people know as much as many people, many people of the older generation. So I don't think it's really fair to just say that, no, you're a kid, so you can, you can go, go away and you don't, you don't get to make a change. You don't get to say anything in how, in how the world is, is really, in what is really happening in the world. So I don't really think that's fair. And this causes us not to have motivation. And another thing about motivation is um, childhood obesity. Uh, which people are saying is a, is a huge problem, because if they're obese now, they're going to grow up and become more and more obese. Um, and this is obviously something we don't want to happen, because it puts strain on the NHS, obviously people are dying, it creates a great sadness. But it, again, that leads on from the idea of no, we have no self-motivation, because of this, because of, you know, school is a passive experience. Um, the government, there's anger between them. And because we're, because again, we're always told, you have to do exercise, you have to eat healthily. But again, we're not listening. People don't want to listen to the government and don't want to listen to the people telling them what to do because throughout their lives, it's just people, just young people getting told what to do. And, and, the, and schools are forcing us, people are forcing us to sit around at six hours a day at school plus the time it takes to do homework, which isn't encouraging us to be fit. Nothing in society is, in, they're telling us to be fit, but nothing is actually encouraging us to do. We're spoon fed everything from a young age and especially in the digital age, everything is so easy. Oh, um, we, we don't really have to work for anything. We're just told what to do and everything is just there there for us We don't have to go out and we're not we're, we're hardly allowed to go out and make a change So why do we would we have the motivation to go out and exercise? That's something that's not going to happen So um, I, that's a so there are just summed up a lot of problems I think with the way young people are treated and viewed in society. So um, in summary, I'd like to say to the adults, the older generation out there, specifically the government and local councils, etc., they need to, you need to stop blaming us because not everything you think is our fault is our fault. If you want the world to be a more successful place with good leaders and not offenders and obese, obese slobs, I think you need to make a serious change soon because otherwise society is not going to be a good place in 10, 20, 30 years. Thank you.